Hello everyone, welcome back to Wipe Knowledge. In this video, I am going to show you how to create two VLAN for AP and Wi Fi clients. So let's start with router and create two VLAN. The first VLAN is for access point and the name management VLAN. And in this VLAN, we'll create a network IP with subnet of 192.168.10.1 with 24 subnet masks and will create a DSCP pool for this VLAN as well. So putting the start IP address and end IP address in this VLAN Similarly, we will create a second VLAN for Wi Fi clients. Now, adding a second VLAN, VLAN 20, and naming it for Wi Fi users. Now, enable IP address and giving the IP address 192.168.20.1 and subnet mask of class 24. Enabling the DSCP for this. VLAN as well so that the Wi Fi clients can get the IP address. So now I created two VLAN in router. Similarly, we have to create the same VLANs in the switch so that uh, the traffic can be passed on the switch. So we can check the switch IP address from the connected clients. So as we have checked the IP address of switch. Now we are going to log in and going into the switching option, VLAN option, and adding VLAN 10 and 20. So we have created two VLANs. Now in VLAN 10, we are using first port as a uplink port which is connected to the router. So we'll set it as a trunk port and the 8 port is connected to the access point. So we tag this port as well in the management VLAN. And similarly in VLAN 20, we set the description for Wi-Fi users and tagging port first and 8 to pass the VLAN. And to now in the port setting, we can verify the settings. The first and the eight port should be trunk so that the VLANs should be passed through it. And we can check the port and or we can change. Now in port members, we can verify VLANs are tagged on first port and eight port and trunk allowed VLANs 10 and 20 on both the ports first and 8 port and the untagged VLAN is first one which is native VLAN so that uh, the AP will get the default IP address then we will access and assign the IP address so the switch level configuration is done and save the changes in the switch pause then we log in the access point by the default IP address received from the native VLAN and now going into the system and setting option and enabling the management VLAN and setting the VLAN 10 as the management VLAN for access point to get the IP from VLAN 10. And to set the VLAN in SSID for Wi Fi clients, we set the SSID name and password, then we assign VLAN ID on the SSID as well. So, enabling VLAN option and giving the ID 20, which is VLAN for Wi Fi users. 
and now save and apply the changes so now access point will take ip address from vlan 10 which we will verify from the router what ip address has been allotted to the access point from the router vlan 10 so now as you can see access point has taken vlan 10 ip address 192.168.10.182 and from this IP address, we will log in this access point. So we are going to log in this access point with the new VLAN IP address. Now logging this access point. So now we will connect the clients on the SSID with Grandstream and the password 128. So I'm Connecting Wi Fi in my mobile phone on Grandstream and setting the password 128. Now the phone is obtaining the IP address and connected. So now we verify the IP address. As you can see, the mobile has taken 192.168.20.136 and the router IP 20.1. So this is the VLAN 20 IP address. Same we can verify in the router and you can see in the Wi Fi clients as well. So you can see the and here you can also see the IP address allotted to the access point. And so in the device info, we can check management VLAN on the access point GWN7603. And similarly, on the Wi Fi client VLAN for Wi Fi users and the VLAN 20 series IP address. So, this is the configuration for access point and router. Thank you for watching this video.